And it does seem like conditions sort of change every single day. So we want to take a look at the coming days there. Abby Acone has been tracking this for us. Uh, Abby, good morning. What can people expect? Good morning. Yeah, really different weather from what we saw over the last couple of weeks. Those snow levels really surging. That's why we've had so much flooding on some of our local rivers right back down here in the lower elevations. But the thing about rain over the passes is that I think it's going to be easier traveling over the mountain highways. Though Stevens White Pass is still closed due to that high avalanche threat. We got 33 degrees right now in Snoqualmie Pass. Wet roads, no restrictions right now. And take a look at those highs over the next couple of days. We're in the upper 30s, low 40s, a bit sloppy if you're traveling over Snoqualmie today. I think we'll have a round of morning rain, drier weather for tomorrow afternoon, and we're drying things out altogether on Friday. So again, those high snow levels, bad news for our rivers, fine for travel. Many skiers and snowboarders are hoping for more fresh powder. So we're keeping that in mind going forward as well. All right, that considerable to high avalanche danger. And we're going to bring in Brian now because stepping outside this morning, coming into work, it felt tropical. Dare I say even balmy? Well, I mean, yeah, what is yeah, happening? Kind of sticky. What's going maybe? on? Yeah, a lot of a lot of those <laughs> words where we don't usually associate with uh, with the Seattle area here this yeah. time of year. 52 is your temp right now.